Hello, good people and data analysts. My name is Greg and I run Data Independent, a learning platform for data analysts all over the world. And today we're going to be talking about hashtag 30 days of data viz. Now, I wanted to get better at data visualization, and I figured what better way to do this than build in public and create a data visualization for 30 days straight every single day. Now, I wanted to open up this program for the rest of you as well, so that we can get better at data viz, we can share it with the community, and we can also comment and collaborate with the community as well. So the challenge here that I'm presenting to you is to create one data, data visualization per day for 30 days, okay? Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of different types of data visualizations out there. Now, there are so many that really, it kind of blurs the boundary between an art and a science. Now, the data part is a bit more of the science, but the art is through the communication of that science. Now, the ultimate goal of a data visualization isn't necessarily to look pretty, the goal of a data visualization is to communicate an idea and inspire action in your audience. And that's exactly what we want to be doing with this challenge. Okay. So if we were to look at the guidelines for this challenge, step number one is create one data visualization every day for 30 days. I know that may sound daunting, but it's one of those things that when you pick up the habit, it's going to become second nature. And you're going to find out that your data visualization on day one is going to look a lot different than your one on day 30. Okay. Now, the second thing is I want to see these data visualizations and I want the community to see them as well. So you're going to tweet your progress via hashtag 30 days of data viz. Now, the reason for this is because when you build in public, it increases your accountability and it also creates the sense of community as well. And so you're going to find that you have more momentum because you're sharing out there in public. Now, in addition to that, you're going to you're going to kind of show your progress to the community. But what's going to be really awesome is when you interact with the community. So others are going to be sharing their own data visualizations and you should give them a comment or a tweet or um, tell them that it looks awesome or give them constructive feedback on where you think that their data visualization can improve. Now, when I share my data visualizations, I fully expect the same thing. I would love for you to tell me where I could improve and how we can make this better. Okay. Now, all of these three rules or three guidelines, they result in the ultimate goal of upgrading your data visualization skills in 30 days. Okay. So one last key point that I want to show here is we're all going to be at different skill levels. There's going to be many sources of data. We're going to wrangle it many different ways. And for this exercise, it doesn't really matter if you wrangle it via Excel, via Python, via R, via Pandas, whatever it may be. And really, I don't care how you make your data visualization. I mean, you could do it in Photoshop or just Excel or D3 or Pandas or Matplotlib, whatever you want and whatever you're most comfortable with the most important part is going to be the output. Now the output is action and it's the ultimate result of all the work that you did beforehand. So choose any data you want, process your data any way you want and visualize your data any way you want. The ultimate part and the thing that we're most concerned about is the actual output itself. So you'll find me, I'll span everything from Excel, I'll go into some pandas, I'm even going to try to push myself and do a little bit more D3 uh, for some more customizations. Okay. So what are the next steps out of here? Well, if you want to choose to accept this challenge, then go ahead and create your first data visualization. And remember to have fun with it and share it online and let us know that you're building so that we can comment on it and uh, kind of uh, build the community from there. And if you're curious about what this looks like in actual practice, go ahead and check out my other YouTube videos where I actually build these in public and you can see how I'm doing these or check Twitter and you can see the hashtag 30 days of data viz and then the data independent account will be uh, will be posting these. So thank you for watching this video and I really look forward to seeing your data visualizations online. And if you post, I will comment on them. So thank you very much and we'll see you guys out there in data viz world.